and good afternoon. This is Warp 103 here. Welcome to the Warp Zone. This is the news for the week here, and let's get this started. Okay, as you're plainly know, right now we're into our second in incarnation of the beta test. Um, it came into existence on the 22nd. So, right now in the second test, they're te testing the second level carousel tanks, new Paris map, more sounds has been added basically. Um, Basically, what happened is they added sound to the Russian tanks only, not to the, any of the other tanks. So the 100, 105, or the 120 sound, they have the exact same sound. So basically, if you have one of those calibers, you screw. Um, more HC tanks, of course, like usual, and revised mini maps. And let's look at the mini maps: uh, Winterbird, Lost City, Live Oaks, Six Feet Line, and etc. All these mini maps will have the new mini map. Um, installed and some slight changes made to it to make it a little bit better. Most of it has to do with the hue and um, the tint just a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer but that's mostly it for that section. Okay then they, there's a developers corner that we learned some interesting things. Um, the Lerva is going to be bluff, buff, excuse me, but with no details yet so they're basically not telling what they're going to do to it. Um, the T-34 will not be touched meaning you know even though it needs some love it's not getting any so forget about it if you own it um the leo will be rebalanced but they're not giving us details on what this, the rebalance is going to be so your guess is as good as mine they'll give more details in the uh, next few weeks the kv5 will not be touched be touched and there's a reason behind this as developers have said if they did it they would give it a 200 pin but they can't do that because they would have to nerf the DPM. And since it's a gold tank, quote unquote, they won't be lowering any um, stats like that or any nerfs for them, which is a good thing, but it still could have used the 200 pin. Okay. And then the next things up is the things that are on sale. Okay. Well, let's look at what the sales are. Hmm. Well, the Rhymatoss Scorpion back on sale again. And just look how much it costs one 129.99 pounds I'm sorry my mistake euros for the European people um, that's just way of just tearing money out your pockets really um, it's slightly OP so I guess it's worth it for this but mm, not for that I just can't see it there okay and the next tank that's up and that's on the European server on the NA server, they have these available, the T14 and the Wes 111. Now, I have both of these, and basically this one is shite. This one can be a good tank at times, but the only thing is, it's a walking ammo rack. Um, so, if you're good with being ammo racked all the time, great. Um, but for the amount of money that they want for it to fully load it, even for it as not fully loaded, it's just, I just cannot see it being the price, for that price, being a ammo rack magnet. I, I just can't see it. So those are the sales that are currently going on right now. Now, you, normally this is where I would end it at, but have a special treat for you. Right now, they just did a developer's panel with Three, excuse me, two of the major people here in the communications director of North America, Paul. And they were going through some things that, again, I'm going to put a link in the description, that people really need to know about. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just going to give the highlights. Now, they covered things like mods, arty, you know, all the general stuff, but a few interesting um, tidbits. Okay, so right now they established this basically three types of mods that they, that they have in the game. Now, two of the mods are basically hand in hand. Basically, the mods that they like and they want to steal, I'm sorry, add to the game. And then they got the um, mods of just a customization, meaning that you have the pretty background, you want to be able to change things like that. And then you have the cheat mods. Now, the first two, they're not going after it. They want to incorporate, incorporate into the game sometime or another. But the cheat mods, they have a whole department to try to stop the mods and everything else like that. The, the cheat mods, that is, and everything else like that. Sandbox. There's the next topic that came up. Okay. 
they still want to basically bring in the heavy metal into the game. Now, again, these are from the so two of the developers' mouths, not my saying it. Um, of course, they want to sugarcoat it and say, well, the incarnation that's in it right now is not going to bring that's really overblown, but essentially, they still want to be in your face, shooter right in your face. So if you're a tank destroyer, you know, already, of course, we already know it's going to be stunned and everything else like that. So that's what, what they have in store for Sandbox. Next, they covered maps. Well, they know that everybody's saying that every map is quarter map. They got it. How long did it take them to actually get this? Three years? Four? And the reason why they said, well, we cannot put new maps back in the game because of this reason, that reason, everything like that. Basically, a whole lot of excuses why they didn't put the old map back until the new ones are ready. So, hey, that's what it is. Okay, now this is where it gets real interesting. Matchmaker. They are saying that there will not be any skill-based matchmaker for random battles. But, wait for it. They will be introducing skill-based matchmaker, but they will not say for what new mode this will come as. So, for those of you that want skill matchmaker, it's coming. Just not for randoms. Um, and then the next thing they covered is tank classes. Well, as you plainly see, sometimes you can have, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven heavies on one side and, you know, none on the other. They're trying to fix that. They know it's happening, even though before they've said many times, this was a feature. This is how it's, worth, it's supposed to work. And now they're basically saying, no, we, we made a mistake. We, we messed up Matchmaker. We're, we're trying to fix it. Just give us time. It's coming down the butt. You'll actually see here inside of this that they're testing a new updated for the Matchmaker that's coming down the line. But of course, they can't give any guarantee of dates because everybody would mob them. Okay, so the next thing is that the reason why we know this is bad because um, the lead producer said that Russia, they have a term for this. When you get 15 and 1, 15 and 3, and they, before they said this, well, that was not normal. Or that was, it only happens every now and then. Well, it happens so much that they have a term for this called turbo loss because they know Matchmaker is busted right from the horse's mouth. When you have a term for it, you know that there's a significant problem. Okay, and the other thing is that they will not be getting rid of plus two for matchmaking. Not gonna happen. This has been set in stone, set a hundred different ways a Sunday. They're not going to do it. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. The next thing is the tech trees will be moved around, meaning that there are some tanks that are in the tech trees that really don't fit with the meta of that tree they're going to be moving that tank specific tank to another tech tree or maybe adding a new tech tree and they will be modifying the parameters meaning that they'll either have the bluff or nerf the tank respectively when it's put into its new tech tree again you have to listen to it itself we look through the whole thing they will cover this section here so again some tanks will be moved to a new part of the tech tree and maybe buffed or nerf depending on the situation and the last couple of things that's coming up and finally we get to the super testers now this was a secret that everybody knew the super testers were only in russia you might have one european super tester well now they're saying that they're going to be getting some more super testers from north america meaning we're actually going to have some finally and they're going to be bringing some more super testers in from Europe to round out the game a little bit more. I think this should have been happening what since the beginning. I know you once you started importing over to America and everything like that, and more European. You think you might have done this already? Hmm. I, I just don't know what to say. Well, I know this one's been a little longer than usual for that, but this is news at warp speed and. Have a good day. Warp out.